Hello, this is uh, Dr. Sean Gong from Beijing Wei Mai Group. We're going to present a new technique called Hand Assistant Transcervical Hysteroscopic Resection of Myoma. This is our new technique for a uh, huge type 1 to type 2 myoma. This patient, uh, she's uh, 41 years old. Uh, she don't have a fertility requirement. Uh, history of uh, using myoma for three years and menorrhagia for one year, anemia for one year. Her hemoglobin level is uh, 87 gram. Ultrasound showed the posterior intramural uh, myoma is about 6.6 centimeter in size. Her MI showed uh, type 1 to type 2 myoma, which was about uh, 6 centimeter uh, on her posterior wall. So we give this patient uh, five doses of the GNIH analog for five months. However, the fibers is not shrinked too much. After five months, she's uh, myoma is uh, still about uh, five centimeter. We inject uh, vasopressin uh, in the cervix. And uh, first, uh, we dilate the cervix uh, to the hip size of 12. We'll put the resect scope. You can find this is a one type 1 myoma, about uh, 5 to 6 centimeters in size. Um, the, the furnace was located in the, in the left worm of the uterus, we use this uh, resection needle to do the resection first. We try to get into the uh, capture of the, the myoma. We try to isolate the myoma from the uterine wall. In this step, we can see uh, this uh, capture is very easy to do. Reach. However, when we open this capsule, we found this uh, active bleeding. Not too easy to control with this uh, resection either. We set the pressure about uh, 100 milliliter. It's, it's still very hard to control the bleeding. We uh, change to the rolling ball. This is a bipolar rolling ball. We can uh, coagulate the vessels and uh, separate the, the 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 mama from the the capsule. On this image, we can see uh, it's uh, easy to to dissect the the space between the myoma and the, the myometrium.
This is a rolling ball. It's uh, relatively easy to control the bleeding. But you, you need to, to remember that this, uh, uh, the magma is still very big. It's about uh, 5.6 centimeter before the operation. So you have to make it quick. So when we dissect about two thirds part of this is, is uh, magma, we change our our machine. We remove our sex scope and then we dilate the cervix more as much as we can. Uh, before the surgery, we give this uh, patient three days of uh, mifepristone, and also we use the uh, the physical dilator one day before the surgery. So this is the biggest one, uh, the Hegel size of twenty five. Now I'm using the four teeth uh, grasper to try to hold this uh, magma with the abdominal ultrasound guide. This is our uh, uh, the magma school. This is usually we use this one for the vaginal mammectomy. So we insert this uh, magma. School my my uh, separator. This is not a, a school. This is a separator. Uh, so we try to dilate. We try to separate the the space. The, the next step is uh, the, the most important step of this procedure. I uh, will put my finger into the uterine cavity with the pulling uh, strands of the 40s uh, grasper. We try to uh, separate this magma from the uh, mitron, just like we do with uh, open surgery or the laparoscopic surgery once the the whole magma was uh, separated into the uh, the uterine cavity so we can uh, do just like we did for the vaginal mammectomy. Now we can see the magma from the cervix. So we use uh, the diver and the retractor to expose the magma. And also, I use this uh, magma screw to get into the magma, and can we can pull the magma. Uh, with the scissor, we can uh, cut the mama into small pieces, make it easier to 
removed from the usual cavity. Now we can remove the whole magma from the usual cavity. It is still a very big one for the hysoscopic suction. With our methods, we can save our time. The, uh, the final step, step, we use the rolling ball to stop the bleeding. Finally, we will put uh, a Foley catheter into the urine cavity and inject about uh, 20 cc of the normal ceiling in the balloon to stop breathing. This uh, is of the weight of the magma is about 48 gram. Thank you for watching.